Hello Capricorn and welcome in to your weekly reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for November 20th until the 27th. If y'all are new here, my name is Jazz. If y'all are not new, then y'all already know what is up. Capricorn, thank you so much for joining us here. Please smash that like button, leave a comment down below, but don't forget to make sure your monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me. Spirit, we're tapping into Capricorn's energy nine of cups you guys could be doing some very fun things you guys could be having some wish fulfillment come into your life spirit show us what we need to see for capricorn summer rising venus and jupiter <clears throat> november 20th until the 27th november 20th until the 27th for capricorn summer rising venus Jupiter signs. Overall energy here is temperance, Sagittarius energy, balance, patience, you know, tempering our emotions. <sighs> Sagittarius season is coming up in just a couple days here. So this is definitely about like shooting your shot, um, getting yourself out there, uh, exploring, doing more Capricorn. This is, this is really nice energy. So let's see. You guys got the six of swords. Here's your energy right in the middle with the devil Capricorn energy. We have five of swords. Yeah, it's these challenging. Um, it's it's a mental challenge this week. Something there's some sort of either addiction. Um, it's it's a, a very like codependent energy. Um, it's a very draining energy here, Capricorn, that I'm getting that's trying to pull you away from your peace because your your overall energy here is peace. Your overall energy here is to keep your peace, trying to 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 remain calm um, despite what's going on. But I feel like there's something that's going to challenge that, that is challenging um, your peace or trying to pull you back to a place that you don't want to go. And this is about like holding your truth here. Five of swords, six of swords. <clears throat> continuing to move to your truth because you see how they're facing each other like the six of swords is trying to head this way the five of swords is coming in the same direction you have to be willing to push past the opposition capricorn this week because there will be opposition coming in and i feel like it it's there to challenge you two of pentacles nine of swords two of pentacles nine of swords Seven of Pentacles. What is it that you want, Capricorn? What is it that you want, right? What is it that you, ch where are you choosing to move towards? That's basically what this this challenging energy is. It's, it's challenging you to push past the opposition make the choice and decision here for what you truly want the seven and the two leads us to the five it's it's a, it's a challenging energy in the physical as well as in the mental there's something that's going to challenge your choice and it's causing anxiety it's causing you mental stress and worry six of swords nine of swords three of swords this could have to do with a heartbreak uh, a breakup um the loss of of someone or something this could be mental pain. This could just be a lot of anxiety that's coming out this week because of just challenging situations that are happening. Um, and some of these challenging situations that are happening um, could be, be uh, investments. It could be trying to balance out finances here. That could be causing um, some anxiety this week, Capricorn, that, that I'm picking up on. And it's kind of got, got somebody in this mental whirlwind, but this is going to play, play out differently uh, for everybody here. We have the four pentacles. Yeah. For some of you, this is definitely having to do with your uh, financial situation here, like choosing between... Like not allowing basically addictions to rule you. So for some of you, this could be about saving, choosing to save over spend, right? In order to keep the peace in your mind. For others of you, this could be about investing, 
right? For other, others of you, this can be about um, staying strong and staying solid in the choice and decision that you make here, okay? Nine of Wands. Page of Cups. Yeah, Spirit, Spirit is asking you to truly follow your intuition here, Capricorn, right? Follow your intuition, and you see how the Page of, page of Cups and the, uh, if I say page of, page of Swords, I'm sorry, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands are facing the same direction, and it's facing this Four of Pentacles, which is solid, stable, right? A holding on energy, kind of constricted, um, not open. This is like standing your ground here and following your intuition, your gut, right? Allowing your gut instinct, your intuition to keep you on track here because we're trying to maintain our peace here, Capricorn. This is about keeping the peace in our life, right? Temperance. Yeah, the world, Eight of Pentacles. You've been working really hard on maintaining this... Um, This life, right? This world, this this energy. Don't let anybody break that. Don't let anything break that. Yeah, show us show us what we need to see here for Capricorn spirit for November 20th to the 27th. This is a very powerful reading here, Capricorn, because six of swords, nine of swords, page of cups, you know, your mind is is very it's it's running right now it's it's running and, and there's a lot of things that may be concerning you and again this could be in relation to um a connection or this could be in relation to finances addictions challenges and it's like this devil energy capricorn i feel like this might be another person yeah look at this Number six, up from the depths, releasing difficulty. Capricorn, Archangel Raziel, wisdom, inspiration, and the Akashic Records. Number six and number 10, Capricorn, Capricorn. <sighs> Allow yourself to be freed from this difficult energy because I feel like this Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles energy, it's very much about being in your head here. You don't need to be. You know what to do, you know what to choose, and allow yourself to release from this difficult energy that you may be experiencing. There are joy and blessings that are coming in, like, look at this, Archangel Han Haniel. Han Haniel, listen, don't mind me. Joy, blessings, and intuition. Follow your intuition here, Capricorn, okay? Follow your intuition. Show us more here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. November 20th until the 27th as it relates to this energy pertaining to love now. There's there's a need, yeah, allow yourself to release from this hold. And I feel like there could be something or someone that just has has a hold on you. And it's it's a part of growth, right? This is this is this is there's one major arcana here and it's you capricorn okay it's the devil energy and i feel like this is about a situation that may have been going on for quite some time seven of pentacles energy and it's time to really resolve this it's time to really let this go come up from the depths of difficulty and order because you know it's it's not allowing you to to have peace in your life here we have the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman okay Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, and the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. I think it's time to let this codependent person go, Capricorn. If there is somebody in your effing life that is running after you, chasing you because they're being codependent, that's what this is. Because I, like I said, there's only one major arcana and it's your energy, meaning the situation is totally focused around you. There's somebody after you, there's something that's going on with you. Um, and it's honestly, it's a minor situation because everything else is a minor arcana. So it's something that just needs to be, go away, 
go away. Coffee cup meaning and com uh, conversing, savoring the moment, moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Coffin, bringing things to an end, new beginnings and soulmates, heart with a key. I feel like you completing this cycle with one person allows you to open up with another because it's like we go for coffee we kind of end and you know let bygones be bygones this is it it's done or you talk over the phone this is this is kind of like what it is let's just kind of squash it let's not do this let's whatever let's be adults about it and like go our separate ways let's not come back to this right and then there's somebody else that comes right in <laughs> All right. <sighs> Tell us about this uh, energy of the devil, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, November 20th into the 27th, please, Spirit. The devil energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, November 20th into the 27th, please, Spirit. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. Capricorn, this is a codependent situation that you need to let go. Let go. Whether it's a, it's a person, fucking job, whatever, it's time to let it go. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, yeah, Five of Wands. It's that's it. That's it. That's that's crazy. I don't even need to do nothing else. I don't need to. clarify anything else let's close this message out for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter let's close this message out for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter so we have the whale great worry over nothing we're closing this message out for capricorn november 20th to the 27th please spirit The tulip, great passion. And younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. We're going to get one or two more. One did flip over. Heartache over what you no longer have. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there, Capricorn. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will speak to you guys soon.